One state meaning the end of the Jewish state. There would be one state for Jews and Palestinians in whatever you want to call it, Palestine, Israel, Israel, Palestine, going from Tel Aviv to the Jordan River, one state. I'm not for it or against it. I'm just talking about this. The original discussion, or the discussion over the last decades, has been two states, Israel withdrawing from the 67 borders, there being a Palestinian state, the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and Gaza. But most analysts believe, and even Obama mentioned it, and other mainstream politicians have mentioned it over the last years, we're coming to the end of two states. My own view is two states ended probably in the 1970s. Really, if we look at it. But the discussion now, and there are one state conferences all over, including in the United States, I've been asked to speak at several of them, although I say, in general, I'm a two-stater, because I'm a moderate. I'll tell you why later. But that's a loser. The intellectual discussion is one state. The end of the Jewish state. The discussion is about the violence of Zionism and emerging anti-Zionism among Jews and, of course, others. The end of progressive Jewishness. I don't think we've thought about this. I divide the Jewish community into three parts. The Jewish establishment, what I call Constantinian Judaism. I'm not going to go there tonight because that's a, an interesting discussion. All of you know about Constantinian Christianity, where Christianity in the fourth century from, went from being a marginal, mostly Jewish sect to a state religion, empire religion, where then it had a monopoly on religion. It also blessed empire. So religion and the state being in bed with one another. We have now a Constantinian Judaism. Don't worry, there's a Constantinian Islam and a Constantinian modernity too. But let's just call it the Jewish establishment for now. Then we have progressive Jews. You know Tikkun, Michael Lerner? How many of you know of? Progressive Jews have been at war with the Jewish establishment because they think the Holocaust in Israel should move in a new direction, not over against, but Palestinians, but also very paternalistic toward Palestinians. So, for example, I love this one. Progressive Jews believe that Palestinians should be free, but they shouldn't have an army. Now, I'd like everyone not to have an army. You know, we could have, like, Costa Rica. Although they have a very extensive police force, which is really an army. But let's leave that. So, since all the nations of the Middle East have armies, it's a little unusual to think of Palestine without an army. They need protection. Who will protect them from progressive Jewish understandings? Israel. The people that dispossessed them 